Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new. My name is Julia and today we are going to do just a little bit of a crochet with me, um, talk with me video. I'm going to catch you guys up on what my life has been like recently and yeah, if you guys are interested in any types of crochet, crafting, shopping, get ready with me, book related videos, whatever those types of videos, I guess basically just anything. Um, I am trying out a few different hobbies and I also love journaling and planning as well. So if you guys like that type of content, I'm trying to bring you guys more of that. And um, yeah, please subscribe, like this video and we'll just go ahead and get into it. So, my son let me pick out a book from my Amazon wish list, and I had Fourth Wing on there. So, I decided to pick this up. And well, actually, he got this for my Christmas because he used his gift card and purchased something for me. So, I'm already on chapter two. And I thought I was going to read a little bit of this before I go into work today. I have to go to work. But I am off for the next, like, I think four days. Like, I'll be off Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So, that's like a four more days, which is pretty good. Um, oh, yeah. Let me explain what happened at work. Um... I did not report it so just because I feel like okay I'm not just going to jeopardize somebody's job even though it was very hurtful to me but maybe it's it should be a lesson learned um, so what had happened is that I went to work wearing my glasses and it wasn't this pair it was a different pair but they were bigger and um I have always been picked on or bullied about my glasses I've always been um called names and just laughed at made fun of whatever and people will stare at me because of like how thick my glasses are so anyway um when I went into work it's because I didn't have my contacts in. And I think it was like the first time people had saw me with my glasses. So he was like, um, hey, you look like Jeffrey Dahmer. Excuse me? I let it slide and then I, I said to him, I can't help that I have to wear glasses. Like it's, I've worn glasses since I was five years old. That's why they are so thick, I guess, now that I've gotten older, but not really because they were thick when I was younger too. I can't even say, <laughs> can't even say that. So when I was younger, I had really thick glasses too. And um, I got made fun of and I got picked at. And it's just like, okay, now that I've gotten older, I'm in my forties, I'm like 42 years old. And I go to work and someone tells me that I look like Jeffrey Dahmer. Like I let it slide that day. And then the next day he said it in front of a, another employee and had said, hey, what's up Jeffrey? And said it to me. And I casually just brushed it off and I was just like, whatever. And walked away. And then the next day I told the coworker, the employee that he had said, what's up Jeffrey to the following day, I said to him, cause they're friends or whatever and they talk or whatever. So I'm like, you need to let him know that that's not cool. Like if he makes fun of me one more time about my glasses, I'm gonna take it to HR. Like I shouldn't have to, it shouldn't be this many times. like. Okay, the first one I let it slide, whatever. The second one, okay, I'm irritated. The third time, like you're done. Like I'm I'm taking it to someone. Or I'll either 
snap on you. It's one, like I'm trying not to snap on you. I'm trying to be really polite about the whole situation and be grown up about the situation. But obviously you're not being grown up if you want to keep making fun of me. Just like, don't say nothing to, like be like other people. They don't say nothing to me. They treat me just like the same as everyone else that wears glasses, except mine are just a little thicker. Like, you know, I was trying a different frame out because I've worn the same type of frame forever and I just wanted something different. Like, just don't make fun of me. Don't just keep calling me Jeffrey. Like, what's wrong with you? So, um, I told his friend, I was like, yeah, talk to him. Then he comes up to me while I'm working and he's like, I want to apologize. You know, he seemed very sincere about it. And he was like, you know, I want to apologize. I didn't know, um, I guess it was affecting you the way it was. I'm like, I've been picked on since I was five years old, literally about my glasses. I've worn glasses since I was five. So I always got picked on because mine were usually thicker than everyone else's. So, like, but you don't know what other people are going through. You can't just sit there and just call them names and stuff like that. Oh, and then when I went to my manager about it, my manager laughed at me. I'm like, really? So that made me upset for the rest of the night at work because, like, I go to a manager and I'm like, hey, this guy, like, actually made fun of me and called me Jeffrey Dahmer about my glasses. Like, I don't want to work in his section. Like, if he's water splattering over there, like, don't put me over there. Like, if you can find another station for me to work in, fine. Because he kept saying little smart shit up under his breath. Like, don't put me in a section. So, I go to another section. That's when I was explaining to the manager why I didn't want to go to his section. Was because he made fun of me. Of course, I'm not going to want to put myself in that situation to where I got to work with him, dude. Like, I'm even though I'm cool with it, but he was still saying, oh, I'm going to get you moved at the end of the shift anyway. Or b before the end, sh the end of the shift. Like, I'm going to get you moved. Because another, um, another shift comes in at like 6.30. And I got there at 6 o'clock. So, he's like, you're going to get moved anyway. So... I'm like, whatever, just go ahead and move me. Just keep me away. And that's when I told the manager about the whole situation, how he called me Jeffrey Dahmer. Like, I don't want to be around him. Like, I didn't go to HR about it because I didn't want him to lose his job. Try and be nice. It's the holidays or whatever. But you don't know, sit there and make fun of me. And then try to, like... just be all rude like no so and then like I said about the whole manager like laughing at me like like do you know I suffer from mental health like I've actually quit this job because of mental health reasons because they all stress people out and then like I've been assaulted before on the job like pushed I had a guy push me at the last location, well, not the last location I was at because I was a transfer from one, but the one before that I was pushed because I was like, because I stopped doing my job. I was checking the pallet to make sure it was in the correct lane for the truck drivers to come pick up. So I'm scanning the pallets, making sure they're scanned in, and also they're in the right lane. I stop, and the guy behind me yells at me. Well, he's deaf, he, and he couldn't hear or whatever, but he was like, he could still somewhat talk, but he was still talking about, why you stop, why you stop? And I told him, and he letting him read my lips, I'm doing my job. I'm scanning the palette, looking at it, making sure it's in the the right lane. That's why I got stopped. And then I got to put my initials on it. 
I gotta put a check mark too, make sure it's the one I checked and that it's correct. So like, don't push me. Oh, and then he, that's when he was like, you know, just yelling at me and yelling at me and he wanted me to move. And I'm like, you go around me. Like I'm still doing my job, go around me. He had plenty of room to go around. There was like nothing in the way. And that's when he like got in my face and he pushed me. And I was like, oh no. I went to a manager and I asked a truck driver, I was like, you saw that, right? Like he just literally pushed me in my chest. And I reported that one. Yeah. And then I had another one at the same location where the guy hit me with stuff on the pallet jack. Like he wouldn't wait till I moved out of the way and he just hit me with the pallet jack pretty much and threatened me. Like that was really harsh. I was like, dude, I'm just doing my job. Like, <laughs> what else do you want me to do? Like, what am I supposed to do? So, um, this one, like I said, the one I'm at now, um, and then I work in Stowe, so you have to, like, you're, they want you to scan 250 items per hour. No matter how big or small the, the item is. Like, I had a lot of jumper cables like maybe about a week or two ago. I have some jumper cables. I have like probably about, um, maybe I had about 12 totes. Each tote had maybe about four to five sets of jumper cables in them. So you have to literally pick up this big yellow tote that has the item in it. And then you stow it all. Even the little items, like just dump everything all in one bin, in one tote, and you just gotta lift it up. It's very heavy at times, and I'm just like, oh my gosh. And a lot, like, they'll have like a whole pallet with nothing but big heavy stuff. And I hurt my back. I woke up the next morning, the next two mornings, I think it was, and then I couldn't turn. Like, couldn't turn my neck. Like even now it still hurts to turn my neck just from work, from carrying all that heavy stuff because there were people that pick through the totes and they take out all the light stuff and they give it to them. So I'm just like, you know what? Mm -mm. It's not fair. I went to the manager he did go and grab me light stuff here and there or whatever throughout the shift. Very appreciative of that. But it was just like, it, it wasn't helping because they were still picking off the light stuff. And I had heavy stuff still. So I was like, whatever. And um, went to the chiropractor. Chiropractor was like just shocked of how much like it hurt me to just turn and everything. So, um, I'm in a different department today. I start doing something different. It, um, is packing small items. So I'm gonna see how that goes, but I'm trying to do a transfer too. So I want to get closer to home. If I do a transfer, it will literally be like a few minutes from my house, which is perfect. And I hope I get that transfer. But other than that, I have been working on these, um, I'm gonna call them the headrest, headrest covers for your car. So I got this one going on. I have to make four granny squares because what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna sew them together. Not like mach machines, so like I'm gonna hand sew them or whatever together. I hope it works because 
I hope it fits. But anyway, I'm gonna take probably two of the same color. I don't know, I might, two, I might do two different ones. Now I got this one going, which I think this one is gonna match like this one. So this, I might do two separate, like this will be the driver's side, this will be the passenger side with like with both of those. And then I think the back part will be these. We'll see. But I really like working with this yarn. This is the Karen Cotton Cakes. Let's see what color is it in. Beach Glass. 60% cotton and 40% acrylic. So this is what I've really been liking to work with. I might get some more of this because I did do like the seat cover, like the, it's really only, only did the back part of it, like the back seat. Um, and I made a square and then I just added like a few about four rows on the top part with some strings. And I'm just going to tie, tie it around the top part and then the bottom part. But the seat cover, I don't know what I'm going to do yet. I don't know how to do it to where I can um, crochet like a some squares or some kind of elastic or something to go over the seat. I don't know. But I'm gonna figure it out. So that's what I've been doing. And then, like I said, reading Fourth Wing, which I do want to read a chapter of. I'm on chapter two. And but these chapters aren't really like short. <laughs> They're not short chapter chapters. So it's like, let me see what chapter three is. Chapter three. Right there. Oh, that's not too bad. But I don't think I have time to do it before I go to work. I might read it after work. But I might... Might as well just go ahead and work on this for a little bit before I get ready to go to work, which is soon. And if you guys want me to record me getting ready or whatever, I don't do nothing to my face or whatever like that. Um, I just wear some sweatpants and a shirt. Um, I don't know what to say like I said I'm just going to get ready and I gotta do some dishes do some more laundry and then do whatever I don't do now I do that when I come home after work And we don't have to work till 5.30 in the morning today. We have to work till 4.30. So my shift is um, six o'clock at night till 4.30 in the morning. But if I get a transfer, then it'll change. Uh, I'm applying for 12 at noon until 10.30 at night. I think is a pretty good schedule. And like I said, I'm gonna save so much money on gas because it's right up the street for me now and I don't have to drive like, sometimes I drive over an hour when there's traffic just to get to work. It's crazy. I'm not trying to 
spend that much spend that much time on just getting to work like are you kidding me if I can be at work in a few minutes that'd be lovely we'll see I wish I could just you know have this as my full-time job creating content on YouTube crocheting reading doing all the things I love um, that would be awesome that would be better than great that'd be awesome awesome <laughs> that'd be what it's called what super duper great Um, I don't know what else to talk about other than I'm going to do this last row real quick and then get ready for work. Because I don't know what time it is. I know it's time for me to get ready for work soon. So it's going to be interesting seeing how this department runs. I've been to so many different Amazon facilities and warehouses. I wish I could do like some kind of investigating and doing um, some recording and stuff and just exposing exposing the behind the scenes of what it really is. No. Oh no. Like like I said, I've been to so many Amazons, they're all different and they all are just I don't know. I rather work from home. It gives me so much anxiety and stress. I hate going up here every day. I really do. But we'll see. I really like this teal color. it reminds me of like the ocean I mean it's called beach class so I mean duh. <laughs> I'm about to take out my car and some granny squares So I was um, asked about my eyesight, like my an update on my eyesight or whatever. So um, nothing has really changed that I know of because like my prescription is pretty much the same. Um, when I got contacts, it was pretty much the same too. It's like negative 10 and a half to negative 11 and then like my glasses are like I think a negative 13 or something like that but um 
yeah i don't think anything has changed much other than um being made fun of my glasses but it's all good like so what so what like but y'all need to stop making fun of people like for real you never know what people are going through it's not fun to um laugh at people because of something like that like i mean you shouldn't be laughing at people period like there's this guy at work and he was just not all the way there like he was but he was really trying at work and i saw some guys or whatever looking and kind of laughing and stuff like that i'm like look at least he's trying like y'all over there sitting there laughing and looking and this and that but you ain't even trying to help him like at least he's trying y'all ain't even doing nothing I respect people more when they're trying. So. But anyway, I just, like I said, I needed to get that off my chest because that bothered me for a long time. I mean, because like I said, with me being bullied so much all my life, it's kind of like, it's enough. Like, enough is enough. I shouldn't have to tolerate this. Like, do you want to get made fun of? Something that you got to wear? I think I chose to wear these big, thick glasses. No, I didn't. Do I wish they were smaller and looked cute on me and this and that? Yes, I do. But they don't. And I'm okay with that now. But that don't mean you gotta make fun of me. Call me names and stuff. Like, that's something kids do. because they don't know any better. But when you go into the workplace and into the workforce, you don't laugh at people and make fun of them and call them names. I don't care if we're working in a warehouse. Don't make fun of people. Even if other people are not grasping on to work as quickly as other people. Don't make fun of them because they're slower or they need help or whatever the case may be. Don't make fun of them. We're in a workplace. Help them. Don't laugh at them and pick at them. encourage them and help them like what's wrong with you it's not funny it feels good when you help other people out you give a helping hand. You see somebody struggling, go help them. Even if it ain't your job, like if that person is really struggling, you don't know what's going on with them, physically or whatever. Go over there and help them. If you can do it physically yourself, go over and help. And a lot of people think that I'm younger than what I am. 
because of the way I work. But no, I'm like twice your age. But you want to complain about your back? I'm twice your age. You're like 20 years old, 20 something. And you want to say that you hurt your back? You bounce back real quick than I do. And I lift up a lot of heavy stuff. And I make my scan rates. So, I worked in Stowe the first time I worked at that location, because this is my second time going back to this location. And um, I worked in Stowe for 10 months, something like that, with no complaints. And I worked, but then again, I didn't have big, heavy stuff all on my palate. It was a mixture. It wasn't just all big stuff, all on one palette. Like literally big stuff, big, heavy stuff. Not just big stuff, but big, heavy stuff. Talking about litter, cat litter, um, cat food, dog food, um, 12 pack energy drinks, um, water, just all kinds of stuff. Just anything that you end tables. I had a couple end tables come through, like those came through a lot. Um, exercise machine equipment came through, like it was just all kinds of just stuff and big heavy stuff. And you gotta pick it up and scan it. And you gotta put it in the little cubby hole thing. So, yeah, I did that 10 months the first time I worked there. And then I quit because it was getting too much on my body. And mentally, I had quit too because it was a lot. I worked 12 hours three days um it was just a lot and I just couldn't take it no more so I quit all right you guys so I'm going to go ahead and cut this video for now I may just upload it just like this and I will just see you guys in another video um, we may do a get ready with me video or we may do something else I'm not sure but I know I got to get ready for work and I'm almost done with this row well not really I got like Two more sides to go but i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like and subscribe and i will hopefully try uploading and posting more frequently i know my hair's been probably looking a mess in this video but i did get a haircut anyway i will see you guys in my next video bye guys